Okay, here you can see the south facing wall of glass. Uh, these are 46 by 72 inch windows and you can see that the winter angle coming right about here is going to penetrate deep into the house where the summer angle coming more like this is going to only hit the planter bed right inside. So these windows will not only allow us to harvest the sun, which will heat this home uh, passively, it will also allow us to grow uh, plants in the planter beds that will run along the, the front south face here. And those planter beds uh, will be about three feet wide, be about 200 square feet of uh, greenhouse along the front of this face. And uh, this glass here is actually one inch thick overall, 3 16 uh, panes of glass with a 5 8 inch airspace in between with silicone seal and no UV uh, protection, no low E. Therefore, all of the UV comes into the house, which is uh, what the plants need, and that brings in more heat for the home as well. So that's uh, why we have the glass here. We're harvesting sun all the way down this side of the house, which is nearly 80 feet long, and it's going to uh, also provide daylighting for the house. We'll be able to ch charge solar lights under the windows and then use them in the evening if we want to. And we have a solar oven built into the kitchen down there. That's going to allow us to use the sun to cook as well. Um, so there's a, a lot of reasons and a lot of uses for this glass. Uh, but the primary one is to passively heat the house throughout every season of the year with no utility power needed. Um, so that's the south face of glass. Now here you have one of the seven clear story windows that run across the top of this uh, clear story area on the house here. Um, and these windows bring in the winter sun angle You'll get, the, you'll get the light and the warming effect of the sun when you want it during the winter. And then when you get to a higher angle of the sun, when it's hotter outside, um, you're going to see that the sun is completely blocked from the house as you get more toward the summer. So the clear story windows that are vertical tend to let in sun and heat when you want it in the winter, and they help to eliminate it in the summer when you really don't need or want it. Um, and that's it, opposed to a skylight, for example, where skylights really take in the summer sun and light, but don't do very well in the winter. And also they cause, they tend to uh, cause condensation, which is a problem. So uh, that's why I like the clear story. And also with the clear story inside, you get a dramatic vaulted ceiling along one side of the home, and or really along the, the, the center of the home, which shows off the log beam ceilings in the tree plant wood uh, decking inside. So uh, that's the story behind the clear story glass. I just want to do this video real quick to illustrate the heating aspect of this house. <clears throat> now we're sitting in this house at uh, basically the end of November. It's winter. It's uh, oh low 20s outside. Everything is frozen. And we're in this house right now. It's been recently dried in. It's been dried in and enclosed for about a month now. Okay, um, and as you know, there's no heating system in here. Uh, but the sun coming in. I mean, look at all the sun. The sun is beginning to warm up this interior, and it will take about a year. But the sun will come in and it will saturate this thermal mass. That won't take a year. The walls. But what takes a while is for the, the, the sun energy to get down below the house, and we haven't even built the foundation wrap yet, but it will go down and spread out throughout a full heating season, and then when it's winter, we'll be able to bring that energy back into the home. It will just happen. Okay? It's, it's physics. Okay, so, um, but I did want to run a quick video just to illustrate the warmth. This house right now is 45 degrees where the sun isn't shining. Okay, and I'm in the sun, it's much warmer. Okay, the trailer that I used to stay in here, and we still have it down on the property, uh, that was like 30 degrees yesterday, 35 degrees. So in the non-sun location areas of the house, we've already got 10 degrees on the trailer, and we've only been closed in for a month. And in the sunny locations, of course, all along the front 
and halfway back into the house, we have the sun heating up the air. So now I can come here and work, and I don't even really need a coat of. I mean, we have no heat, but the house is already heating itself. So pretty exciting. I hope you're excited about the principles of a sustainable solar home. And uh, I'm just so excited to continue working and to one day get this baby finished and to experience living in a sustainable solar home that uses basically no fuels and we have all the necessities of life.